So hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great and today's video i'm going to talk about how we can use the blender droplet generator add-ons that is very cool add-on by the way and in this video i'm going to talk about how we can uh, create the droplets on this glass with the help of that add-on so first of all i'm just going to install that add-on for installing that add-on i will just go to my edit preference and here i'm just going to my add-on section and after that i'm just going to click this install button and i will just go wherever i have downloaded the add-on and here you can see here i have downloaded the droplet generator 2.1 i'm just going to install this add-on and it will look something like that make sure you just check from the here and here you can see that add-on is installed successfully into our blender and here you can see it is showing basically view sidebar and droplet generator basically it is showing the location where that add-on is located by the way so now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna press the n and first of all let me just confirm i have selected my glass or not yeah i have selected my glass then after that i'm just gonna uh, click my droplet generator so here you can see here we have a two option it's called basically add the droplets and secondly draw the droplets so first of all i'm just gonna add the droplets and make sure whenever you are using that add-on you have to select any kind of mesh because it will create a draw according to the mesh behavior according to the mesh basically uh, shapes so i have just clicked this glass and i'm just going to click the add drops and now here you can see those drops are looking something like that and that is look nice but in my thought it is little bit uh, like smaller so we have to like uh, okay we have to like increase the size of those droplets so for that i'm just going to my settings and here you can see here we will get a whole droplet generator add-on settings in our geometry nodes so what i'm going to do basically everything is look fine to me apart from that that scale basically so i'm just going to increase the scale a little bit and now here you can see though that's look by okay and now here you can see these look nice by the way now i'm just going to switch into my rendering mode and let's see how it's look like exactly okay all right guys now here you can see those droplets are really look nice and if i'm just going to my camera view let's see let me show you from here first of all and let me disable my uh, denoiser basically viewport denoiser okay now we can visualize more clearly here okay so now here you can see guys the old droplets are looking nice let me enable once again okay and now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna increasing a little bit size again of all those droplets and which is look nice by the way let me just show you into my material preview i think it will sh visualize better in here basically uh yeah it is took little bit time for uh, loading all the material and shaders yeah that's look nice now here you can see guys these are the droplets which is are looking nice and doesn't matter which object you have selected it will create a droplet according to that mesh shape basically like for example we need a uh, droplets here so i'm just going to click add droplets and uh, we have to increase the scales basically now here you can see we have a uh, droplets into our cardboard as well now here you can see see we have a uh, droplets here also but the, the thing is that basically it will create a water material automatically because um, this is add-on and there is everything predefined basically and here you can see those droplets are looking nice by the way and one more thing we can do basically we can scale the noise and uh, we can also um, max droplet count and uh, like we can also increase the and decrease the density as well and one more thing which is that like a mode basically uh, here we can animate all those drops if we want so like uh, for example we need a long anim animated seat so we can just click it here you can see and if we need a long animation now here you can see we have a little bit of animation also into our drops and if we need a trail so we can make a long scale trail okay but let me just select this one so all right here you can see but 
we have to enable the long animation first of all now here you can see that is cool by the way and uh, we have some custom option also here so basically this is a complete pack of creating your drops into your any object and you can just use this creating a realistic drops and uh, you don't need to like uh, worry about the particle settings you don't need to do all things manually here are all settings and you can just customize everything according to your desires also and which is look nice by the way and that add-ons always help you create a realistic and perfect drops like here you can see if we want here we can add here also see and we can just scale it now here you can see that look awesome we can subdivide we can uh, play with the noise also we can play with the noise weight also we can increase and decrease the count as well we can increase the density of the waters as well like basically ior and we have a uh, animated uh, like what we can say drops animation here also here you can see we can create a long drop as well all right so that's very easy and cool add-on so i thought i should share with you guys i hope you all like this add-on and you also understand how to use this droplet add-on and uh, this kind of add-ons always help you and always save your lots of time while making a uh, any kind of scenes any kind of like animations and if you don't have any uh, like uh, experience to creating a drops in a blender so this uh, droplet blender add-on will definitely help you to create a realistic and smooth add-on uh, smooth drops for your uh, projects all right and and the cool thing of this add-on uh, doesn't matter which object you have selected it will create a droplet for anything and one more option it is here basically we can draw the uh, droplets according to our desire as well but first of all for that what we have to do we have to select that uh, like uh, object now here you can see i'm just going to show you like this is the object where we want a droplet according to our design we can just create a custom droplet like we want here 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 then here you can see now here from here we can just increase the like uh, depth okay and what we can do basically we can just uh, uh, select all those and all right but uh, the draw custom droplets it's not working nicely in my uh, system i don't know there is some issue here basically but it's okay but apart from that everything is look nice because uh, add custom oh, so, sorry add add uh, automatic droplets are working very nicely all right guys so that's it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you learned something new today and if you learn something from this video please hit the like button the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries or suggestions please let me know in the comment box i'll definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys and love you all